What's up girls? Today we're gonna work on flattening that tummy and especially in that lower pooch area to get rid of it. And I'm gonna tell you one of the best things that's helped me get faster results is when I've ditched the crunches. And I was doing that for so long and I was really not seeing the results. And so how great is it today that we're gonna be learning how to get results faster, especially in our ab area. What I've noticed is that anytime that we're involving weighted core stability exercises, not only is it gonna help strengthen that area, but it's also gonna give that more shrink and smaller waistline throughout the entire look of it. So we're gonna be going into a 360 and working all the different areas of the muscles. So now I know that I said no equipment needed, but I want you to grab some sort of just water bottle or can or something because that's where the weighted stability is really gonna come from. So if you don't have any dumbbells, no problem, grab a water bottle, okay? And if you're a beginner, it can be a light water bottle, and if you're more advanced, it can be a little heavier. So we're gonna go first, start off with the first weighted stability. This is one of my favorites. You're gonna go ahead and just securely place it into your hand. Your hand is gonna be right up over your shoulder, okay? So just making sure it's all in alignment. From there, you're gonna bring the legs up. The number one important thing that really helped me get better results is when I focused on keeping my lower back flat onto the mat. And in order to do that, you have to engage your transverse abdominals. All it is, is you're gonna take your belly button and just pull it back towards your spine so that it flattens and it engages. And you wanna keep that the entire time, okay? So from here, if you're a beginner, you're not gonna go as low. And these are just scissor kicks and the having it in one hand throws off your stability slightly and you're gonna feel the difference. All right, let me know. So go ahead, if you haven't joined me yet, go ahead and grab your water bottle, lie down onto your floor, wherever you're at. This can be done anywhere, you guys, and it's so simple. So again, paying attention to the transverse abdominals and make sure you're breathing. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can actually hold yourself up like this and go a little bit lower into your scissor kicks. And oh my goodness, I'm already feeling the difference. Okay, when you're ready, let's go ahead and switch hands. Do the same thing on the other side. Listening to yourself, remember, if you're a beginner, you can keep your head onto the mat, just making sure that your lower back doesn't lift. You're not going too low with the legs. If you're a little bit more advanced, lift it up so that your shoulder blades come off of the floor and go a little bit lower with those legs. I'm breathing heavy because I'm already burning. Feel it already on fire. I never got this much of a burn when I was just doing crunches. Such a great one. Okay, the next one, I want you to go ahead and just take the water bottle and you're going to bring it out and then you're going to curl up and bring it in. So bring it out and then curl up and bring it in. Now keep in mind that little trick I taught you, don't arch your back at the bottom. We wanna keep that back nice and flat. So maybe your legs don't go as low. For the first little bit, my legs didn't go low either. And that's okay. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can really go ahead and extend a little few things. So you can like lift your glutes up off the floor and really round it a little bit more. Let's just do five more. Oh, I'm burning. Oh, can you feel the difference? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, next one. I'm gonna show you again a beginner and advanced move here so you can do it. Everyone can do this with us because if you got a water bottle, beginner or advanced, let's do this. Okay, so you're gonna bring your hands up into the air and if you're a beginner, you're just gonna set up like this, leaning slightly back. Notice that I'm not straight up, all right? So I'm leaning slightly back and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring the knee to the water bottle and then back up knee to the water bottle and back up. And why this is so awesome is it's gonna help strengthen your lower back. It's gonna help tone your thighs. And as well, it's going to help really flatten out that tummy. Okay, so this is beginner. Now, if you're a beginner, stay here because you're getting just as good strengthening, all right? Now, if you're past that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take both feet up and both hands up. And you're gonna really feel the stability in your core right now, having to balance yourself that challenge alone is going to give you such awesome results. Let's do five more. Notice I'm keeping it really slow. I've learned it's not about a speed, it's more about really engaging and connecting. Better results for sure. 
Good. Last one, because I told you I want to hit all areas. This is when I saw, you know when you want that, that nice, good, tight, low back, and then the booty looks really lifted and round? So what I want you to do is bring your fingers out towards me, so off to the side. Beginner, you're gonna keep your knees bent, and you're just gonna lift up your glutes, and you're gonna automatically feel that into your low back. And it should feel good. If it feels painful, then you're gonna wanna stop the exercise and do a modification. But if it feels great, that's where we want it. We're just gonna be strengthening that low back, which is gonna give it that nice, good, tight, that snatched look. Yeah, keeping it, keeping it tight, keeping it real. All right, next, if you're advanced, what we can do is bring the feet out like this. Yeah, girl, you feel that? <laughs> Good, notice how slow and controlled I'm going to. It's not a race, and I'm keeping it slow. Now, I'm gonna show you an effective range of motion, so instead of going all the way down and pausing, just a couple inches off the ground, and then back up, so you're still in that engaging of that range of motion. And I got better results when you're just staying in it rather than pausing in every single rep. Whew. Let's do five more. Feel it? Good, it feels stronger, and it feels like it's just tightening everything. Isn't that good? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and repeat it again with each other if you guys are ready, okay? So if you have the ability now to know what we're doing and you wanna grab a little bit heavier of a water bottle, do so now. Take this moment and grab some water as you are just resting for a moment. We're gonna go right back into it. All right, here we go. Throwing ourselves off balance just a little bit. Holding that water bottle in one hand, we're gonna go into those scissor kicks. Now keep them bent, your leg, knees bent. If you're a beginner, you can keep your head on the ground. And remember my advanced girls, you can lift up through the upper back, straighten out those legs. Listen to your body. Remember, I, we all start at different levels. It's not about jumping to the end. It's really about just feeling it. Stay with me. Let's go five more. Wow, that burn is real. All right, when you're ready, take your time. If you need to stop the video, that's okay to rest it out. And then let's go into the other side. Burns so good, doesn't it? Love it. All right, next one, we're gonna go ahead and go into those, those curls. So bringing the weight behind your head, keeping that back nice and flush onto the ground. And if you're a beginner, you can keep your head onto the ground and you're just going to bring the water bottle to your shins. Slow and controlled and making sure your lower back does not lift. That's where I started. Now, for all my advanced girls that are watching right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our glutes and our upper back, and we're going to bring the water ball closer to our ankles instead, really lifting. Good, let's do five more, slow. I'm shaking. We can do this. Last one. Oh, take a moment and just feel that. Doesn't that feel so different? Oh my goodness, love it. Okay, next one, bringing the arms up. Beginners, remember we're here, we can just march it like this, one leg at a time. You are throwing yourself off with that instability, which is perfect, right where we want it. And that can be the instability, is just that one leg going at a time. Beautiful, and just keep going there. Or if you're advanced, we're gonna take both legs out and then up. Mm -hmm. 
nice and slow. Look at my pace, you guys. Notice I'm breathing. Good, five more. Oh, wow. All right, and here we go, last one. We're gonna do the reverse tabletop. Beginners, just keep those knees bent. This is where I started for sure. And as you start to feel your lower back getting stronger and stronger, you can start inching those heels out. But again, stay in a beginner if you're a beginner. Let's go. Ready for five. Love it. Let's counteract it just by leaning over and touching the toes. Good, next go ahead and bring one foot, doesn't matter which one, one foot up and the other foot stays out. And I'm gonna have you to lean to the side towards your straight leg. Feel that nice, good side bend. It actually energizes you and you can open up through the lungs and bring in more air. And then the opposite, if you're a beginner, you can just hold here and lean to the other side and to the other side. Or you can place the hand behind you and lift up and over looking back at that back hand. Feeling that all through your low back and through the front and the sides. Big inhale. Exhale, release it. And then we switch to the other side. Lean towards the straight leg. Bringing that hand back behind you, lifting up onto that knee, looking back at that hand. Inhale. And exhale, release. Ooh. Right, are you feeling the difference of just sitting and doing a bunch of crunches with that weighted stability, how it's really strengthening your midline and flattening that core so much faster? Who doesn't want better and faster results, right? All right, so I'll see you guys in the next workout. Great job today, and we'll do the next one together. Bye.